another simple example that many of us can relate to, at least here in the West. Ever walked on a busy street and all of a sudden someone just bumps into you? You don't understand what happened. Why did they do this all of a sudden? And then you look up. You see the person is still typing a message on his or her phone. Didn't even notice that he or she hit you. That is mindlessness. As long as we start becoming aware of this behavior, you know, if we are not the ones doing it, if rather if we are the ones doing it, we are capable of changing it, stopping that bad behavior. In order to be aware and catch ourselves doing this, such as texting while walking, we must be mindful. So, mindless, when we do things we don't even know we do, mindful, when we know in the moment exactly what we do. Please keep in mind, this is just a one way of explaining mindlessness versus mindfulness. But I trust you got the point. I will give you more examples and definitions as we go through the program. <clears throat> now, now that we have a basic knowledge, definitions, little history, and some examples of mindlessness, let's move to the next lecture.